Okay, starting with my MAC Fix Plus. I'm spraying it on my face and then take a beauty blender and let it absorb like this. This is how I prep my skin for the makeup. Next, I'm using this MAC uh, Prime in Natural Radiance. It has a yellow tone. I like to apply it in here because I have a little bit of pores going on here and under eye and nose especially and the corner of the nose mm, chin I like to focus this mainly on my T-zone then rest I'm applying it in here okay yeah done then for the foundation, I'm using my MAC uh, Studio Fix Fluid in NC40 and I like adding this one. This is Revlon Color Stay uh, combination and oily. I like to add this because it's for oily skin. So I get a little bit oily around my T-zone. So to help with that, I like to add two pumps of this. Uh, the color is warm golden This is what I'm using for my contour today. It's LA Girl Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer. I like this color. It's a cool tone. It doesn't give you that orangey uh, color in your cheeks. So, and I like the brush size. I take some product to a palette. That's it. And I like okay, starting with my jawline. I wanna have I like to have a very sharp jawline. So I'm drawing it from here directly to corner of my mouth. Like this. Next thing, I'm gonna contour my forehead. I think I have a medium size of contour, not too big, not too, not too small. So I'm gonna do it like here. Uh, nothing much in here. That's how I contour my forehead. Next thing, I like to move on to my jawline. I think many of us want to contour our jawline we have this double chin i'll show you how to cut that this is our contour and along the jawline oh, i need to cut it really sharp i like a really sharp jawline yeah then cut it like this and double chin no, i don't double chin like this oh, I wanna hide this is how I hide my jungle chin okay next thing is contour nose I like the length of my nose I just want to make it look a little bit thinner This is where this brush comes in handy. Okay. Next thing, I'm um, going on to concealer. Uh, 
concealer for the concealer i'm using pro Longwear wear concealer mac nc25 Okay, and another thing I will show you that's from I'm doing it with contour. I uh, like if you wanna make fuller lips, this is how you contour. You contour around the lips like this. And here, like if you wanna make it like your lips looks fuller. I usually don't do this. You can try it if you want. Then moving back to highlighting. Here's the contour and highlighting map, but I even add like a little bit more glamour to this look. So um using this i'm using these both colors one thing is pro conceal hd high definition the color is i suppose creamy beige yes it's creamy beige and uh, this is prep and prime highlighter light boost just to make it more like glam um adding this this step is not necessary tip of my nose and here only the highest point of my cheekbones and this side okay and here a little bit here a little bit here Next thing I'm using this peachy color concealer. Purpose of this is like when you take any high definition photographs, if you add a little bit of orange, like there's no way of getting uh, ashy photos. Have you seen those uh, white flashes you get when you take high definition photos? By adding this, that won't happen to your photos. I do all these steps only for my brands because they take high definition photos so in the photographs everything appears really nice and 3d looking by the way you can check my page beauty bay brides in Instagram and Facebook page
Um, at this point, I'm happy with how it look, but we have so many more things to do. Then I'm taking the, this side of Beauty Blender and I'm gonna blend in between. And okay, this is how it look once you blended everything together. Then next thing you set in it. Taking this powder from England, it's a uh, stage spot studio mattifying loose powder. I'm gonna take loads of it to the beauty blender and I let it sit for a while like this. I'm baking my face for about five minutes. Then I'm taking a smaller brush and set my nose. Let it bake for about five minutes and then while it's baking, I'm gonna do my brows. I'm taking a fluffy brush and dusting off the powder. I'm moving on to setting my contour. I set my highlight, then moving on to my contour. I I'm taking this uh, NC45 from MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation, the shade this, and I'm taking a fluffy brush and setting my contour. I'm taking a smaller brush um, yeah. okay next thing I'm gonna do it highlight uh, highlight my nose a little bit more for that I'm using this uh, Anastasia the num uh, banana color Then I'm taking this NC35 from MAC and I like to go with this color in between this dark and I feel like it uh, balance everything. This is my trick by the way. To have a nice contour, I feel like I need a little bit here. It's too whitey there, and yeah, I'm gonna. I hope you can see it's really 3D. My faces. I won't do this. Uh, unless I'm taking HD photographs for but for brides I definitely use this method okay I'm gonna complete the look with you uh, then I'm taking this highlighter uh, Mary Luminance from Balm this is my fairy and I'm gonna spread my face a little bit because I feel it's really really dry the 
beauty blender I'm gonna move on to highlighter taking this brush from Morphe E48 this is my favorite brush and I'm applying this to high points of my cheeks can you see this is my favorite favorite highlighter so far and I'm taking this to my brow bone a little bit I really like this And I'm smoothing it with my fingertips. Nothing works like your finger. Have to make up. Then here a bit, my edge of my nose, and the tip of my nose, a little bit in here. That's it. I don't like highlighting in here, so it gives me like a you are sweating look. In this uh, it's a shimmery blush from Becca it's luminoso blush from Becca it's a shimmery blush I'm taking the same blush applying it to my cheeks don't wipe don't do this always press into your skin that's the secret for long lasting finish okay so hi guys this is the final look as you can see you can't see brown lines just everything is balanced my nose is thinner than before and look at my cheekbones Mm, I hope you like this and if you have any questions don't forget to comment below I will reply and let me know what all other videos you want to watch in the future and stay tuned for more videos like this please subscribe and like this video thank you very much